This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here, and in this video, we are going to be comparing the Canon 50mm 1.2 lens up against the Canon 50mm 1.4 lens. Before we get into it, I want to thank our sponsor Squarespace for making this video possible. A photo speaks a thousand words, but a polished and professional portfolio can get us those thousand dollar clients. Enter Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for websites and domains. Photographers, it's time to be done settling for slow loading websites with tedious plugins. I trust Squarespace's all-in-one platform to keep me booked and busy. Pick from one of their dozens of contemporary drag and drop layouts, host your custom domain and email with them, and even conduct successful email campaigns. Everything you need to run a successful photography business under their umbrella and at your fingertips. You can head to squarespace.com to begin your free trial and when you are ready to launch your beautiful professional website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. We're gonna begin with the 51.4 and then I will switch to the 1.2. Both lenses are linked down below as well as a $75 budget alternative, the 1.8. So I'm gonna do one shooting wide open on both of these lenses. So I'm gonna shoot open at 1.4. Oh, this is beautiful, Anya. If you're looking to buy one lens for your camera, the 50 millimeter is a great option. One of the reasons is because it's a very versatile focal length. You can do full body shots, close up portraits without distorting the face, and also capture product in detail images. The 50 millimeter is a prime lens. That means it has a fixed focal length. There's no zooming. You have to move forward and backward to adjust your the 50 millimeter focal length is a great option for those looking to upgrade from their kit lens for both versatility and for price point, which we'll talk about in a minute. We switched over to the 1.2. I'm going to shoot Anya at 1.4 on the 1.2 lens and then I'm going to shoot at 1.2 in the same spot. The 50 millimeter is also great for beginners because it has a variety of price points depending on the aperture you opt for. The 50 millimeter 1.2 is on the high end. It's 1400 new or as low as 1000 if you buy it used on KEH camera. You can get the 1.4 for $400 new or as low as 240 used on KEH. However, there's also a cheaper alternative. It's the 50 1.8 and you can snag one for about 75 dollars used on keh camera check out the description box for my video where i compare all three lenses the 1.2 1.4 and 1.8 as well as the links to buy them used so 1.2 or 1.4 budget might be your deciding factor consider buying used to get more for your money why am i missing focus this is really interesting i don't know if it's because she's so far away but something on my 1.2 so i'm going to go into manual focus so I had to move into manual focus. So I'm going to go back into auto. Interesting, it's really missing focus. Okay, well, we'll just shoot on manual for this one. I'm moving now to 1.2 on the 1.2 lens. So you'll be able to have both of those as a comparison. Beautiful Anya and smile big. It's not missing focus when I shoot in live mode. And then I want to show you guys when I try to shoot and it misses. It's really interesting. I do love shooting in live, but that's my 1.4 was perfect. We're moving into direct sunlight. I did not notice a difference with the 1.4 versus the 1.2 lens in this lighting situation.
Now we're moving into backlighting and the biggest difference that I noticed was the 1.2 was sharper in this lighting situation than the 1.4. However, it's so subtle that I have to ask, is it worth that thousand dollar price difference? Let me know in the comments down below. You will notice that the 1.2 backdrop is creamier than the 1.4, but that's to be expected as the aperture is open wider. Now we're moving into the shade and you'll see in the images on the screen in a moment that the 1.2 was sharper, but in my experience, working with the 1.4 was much easier to focus. If you remember at the beginning of the video, the 1.2 kept missing. Now in this lighting situation and with these close-up photos, I wasn't missing focus, but the 1.4 was faster and quicker to focus on my subject than the 1.2. So the 1.4 is faster to use. The 1.2 does take a bit more time because it is even that much more open. It's going to take a moment to focus in. Here's the same photo just cropped in very tight to the face so that you can get a better feel for the sharpness. Now that we're in the edited photo, I wanna know from you in the comments down below if you can really tell the difference in the final result. Which lens do you prefer, the 1.2 or the 1.4? Both will be linked down below. Be sure to hit subscribe so that you're the first to know when new free tutorials for your business come out every single week. You can follow along over on Instagram at Whitaker for daily tips, tools, and resources for your creative business. And if you're looking to join a kind, encouraging and inclusive photography community, check out the Build and Bloom Photography Facebook group. It's free to join and I would love to see you there. I believe in you and I believe in your business and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.